Scenes of jubilation following the removal of the plaque. Students aligned to the movement open Stellenbosch, however, say it's almost a little too late. This has been long overdue. The university um, was supposed to take this uh, particular stance long uh, time over. The plaque's removal follows the recent removal of the statue of Cecil John Rhodes from the University of Cape Town. Fervurt's grandson says he has been advocating for the removal of hurtful plaques and statues for many years. Deep listening gave my gut a glimpse of the wounding that those on the receiving end of apartheid associate with the name Fervurt. The urgent heartbeat behind those clenched fists brought home to me their profound hunger for sincere acknowledgement by those who share responsibility for their woundedness. The university says the plaque's removal is part of its commitment to bringing about transformation. This event serves as an affirmation of the university's acknowledgement of its contribution to the injustices of the past and its commitment to redress and development in a strategic framework of 2000. The plaque has been handed over to the university archives until a decision has been made about its future. Vanessa Puna, SABC News, Stellenbosch.